All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. Uh, you're looking at the uh, Moon Lander 2 USB miner for cryptocurrency. Uh, if I can get it in the center of the screen here. So you can buy these on Amazon or you can order them uh, through a company called iBot. Uh, they come from uh, overseas. They're a lot cheaper compared to getting them on Amazon. So uh, these are nice little things. Uh, you can mine uh, Litecoin is one of them that you can mine. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm testing out on two other ones. So, uh, so far they're holding up really good. On the back here you have uh, an LED over here and there's one over here then you have your uh, screw settings here for the uh, different settings that you can adjust that you got to be really careful with um, you definitely want to uh, power these using a USB powered hub something that's pretty decent that's able to withstand uh, running these because they do take a little bit of power not very much wattage uh, mine's drawn like I don't know seven seven watts a piece so uh, sorry about the noise in the background that was a repeater going off but uh, other than that I mean these things are pretty neat uh, I'll show you how to set these up I'm running uh, some on a Raspberry Pi 3, which you could run these on like probably a Pi Zero with no problem whatsoever because these obviously do all the work. The Pi's just running the uh, miner software in the background. So, uh, a Zero would be perfect. So, but uh, other than that, these things ain't very big. Uh, let's get a tape measure. So, you're looking at like an inch wide, a uh, little over two and three, almost two and a half, then overall it's three inches, we'll see, just for giggles, then this way you're looking at about an inch and a quarter, so, uh, like I said, they're very small, has a fan on it that's uh, removable, replaceable, I guess if need be. They run all the time. Now, the fan does not shut off. As soon as you plug it in, the fan starts. So, uh, it's got a heat sink here. There's one here. And uh, you get anywhere from uh, 3 to 5 mega hash out of this. Depending on, I guess, the pool and uh, your settings, if you let it at default or you uh, adjust these screws here for the voltage and whatnot. So, I think these can do up to like uh, 10 watts a piece, depending if you mess with these uh, screws here. I guess it's basically like a potentiometer. So, uh, other than that, figured I'd just make something to show you what these things look like. And, uh, I'll make another video on how to, uh, get these working on a pie, which is, uh, not too hard. So, alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so, we're back now. I just want to show you these running here. As you can see, when it's flashing red, that's a good sign. When you have one that's not flashing red, uh, it's probably not working. You might have to restart the miner <clears throat> or double check power or whatnot. But the green light means obviously it's powered up and uh, the red light blinking is a good sign. They are pretty bright lights so if you have them somewhere they might annoy you. That might be a problem. But I just have it plugged into this Pi here. 
and uh, like I said that is just uh, running the miner then also have some other software running on it at the time <clears throat> so uh, no big deal then the pie below it I'm just stacking coins with that one the same way with uh, these two here stacking more coins so but all four of these are mining the uh, light coin at the moment so all right stay tuned for more